Some interesting comments being made by the Willow Creek Community Church pastor at the North Shore campus, Ed Ali Jr. As far as diversity goes, we're going to get into all the details of that. Off the top, guys, let me mention to you, I am now on Rumble. Go subscribe there to me as quick as you can. The link down below, that's going to be our backup. We recently lost our monetization here on the channel. Could lose this entire channel at any point as well. Because of that, we need your help now more than ever to help support our ministry. A couple different ways you could do that. One is through PayPal, the link down below. You could do there a one-time or monthly donation. Also, you could sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. That link down below gets you access to my bonus content, my podcast where I talk more about sensitive information, as well as the links to the YouTube videos are going up there as well. Because YouTube's not always going to alert you when the new content comes out, Patreon will do that. Plus, just a great way to make sure you don't miss any of my content. I highly recommend it. All that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Willow Creek Community Church, pastor of the North Shore Campus, Mr. Ed Ali Jr. He had some very interesting comments as it pertains to churches who are diverse and those that lack diversity. Now, he sat down uh, with the South Shore uh, Campus lead pastor. They had this hour-long discussion. And the comments coming out of this, according to to Ed, you know, he's saying that he made this personal decision with his family a long time ago, that he would never preach or be involved with in any way, attend any church that is not diverse. He just says because he sees the body of Christ as being very diverse, we're made up of all different races, which is very true. But he said that he can't he just can't bring himself to associate himself with a church that will not allow for diversity. Now, he doesn't say that yeah, that means that the church is bad or the people are bad. In fact, he even said that, you know, he would talk privately with, you know, a pastor or another minister or somebody from that church if they had any questions. But just that he would never go over there as like some sort of a guest speaker or be involved in any way, you know, with the actual ministry work. And you know, this raised a lot of eyebrows that, you know, why would you cut yourself off, you know, an opportunity from being able to go and preach, especially if that's where God is leading you to go. Now, I completely, again, agree 100%. The body of Christ is very diverse and God does not see color. So he is completely right when he says that. However, if God told him and said, you know, Pastor Ed Ollie Jr., I want you to go to this church. Now, this is a black church. It's not diverse, but I want you to bring a message here because these people need to hear this and you're the one that I want to do that. You know, would you just shut the door on God if that's the direction that he was pulling you to go in? I think, you know, sometimes we just close that book and we're like, no, we're not doing it just because, you know, we, we believe in diversity and, and, and having, you know, everybody be there in the church, everybody being represented. But to say you're not going to, you know, preach there or you don't want to be involved anyway. I, I don't know about that. I don't, I can't really get behind that. And I know this, this topic could bring about a lot of different views and I fully expect that. I don't expect everybody to agree with me. Um, oftentimes I, you know, get yelled and screamed at in the comment section. So I wouldn't expect nothing less when it comes to this topic. Uh, but again, he made the comments and even said and compared it to if he were to get involved in one of these churches that lack diversity. He said it would be like casting his pearls before the swine. I mean, you guys have heard that verse before in the Bible. So I just don't know about that. I, I don't know if I would necessarily consider that. I can respect his convictions and the fact that he doesn't see color because look, so many people do. I mean, look at the world that we live in today. Everything now is just obsessed about color and race and everything like this. So I get that. But as far as not being able to go and minister somewhere because a church doesn't have the diversity that you're looking for. I'm just not so sure about that. However, this is something that I am completely sure about. And by the way, I'll, I'll include a link down below in the description. You can check out, if you want to check out the full interview and all the comments that Pastor Ed Ali had to make, I'll, I'll go ahead and include that and you guys can feel free to watch that if you'd like to go through the entire thing. But again, here's something that I am sure about is that the one thing you need more than anything is a relationship with Jesus Christ. This is part of our ministry is that we are trying to get as many people to Jesus as we can because we are living in the last days and we're getting very close to the return of the Lord. So this is your opportunity now. If maybe if you've never received Christ as your Lord and Savior, here's how you do it. You start by recognizing that you yourself are a sinner. We all are. 
But God sent his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. And that what we need to do is that we need to repent of that sin. Now, important to know, repent means to turn from your sin. So not just to say you're sorry, but to actually turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he will wipe that sin away. As a matter of fact, the Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. And trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you make to give your life to the Lord. And I pray that you make that decision today. Guys, again, let me know your thoughts here on the pastor's comments about diversity, not preaching in this church and not preaching in that one. Also, don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are down there as well. It is a great blessing to us, and I do appreciate that. The link to the Rumble page is there as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.